You'll see these signs in neighborhoods everywhere. The old yard sale. You know what they say, one man's trash is another's treasure. But before you unload the garage, think about the two most important legal questions. First, what's your responsibility for the stuff you sell and the place you sell it? Since you're not a manufacturer or a retailer, there is no automatic warranty for the junk, <clears throat> I mean the goods that you sell. But you might be creating a warranty depending on what you tell your customer. How about these bindings? Should they release right? Yeah, you bet. You know, that may be enough. You've specifically told the buyer that these things will do something. Of course, the buyer has to rely on that representation. How about broken stuff? If you sell something that had a problem and you knew about it, you could be responsible if someone is later injured. If you really had no clue there was a problem, then you're probably okay. But don't lie about a known defect if someone asks. How about the yard where you have the sale? Well, you want to keep it as clear as possible so that no one is tripping over anything. I mean, you know how these early birds can be. They can scatter this stuff like goodies at a blue light special. So avoid the problems. Be careful when telling customers what your goods can or can't do. You may be creating a warranty. Don't cover up defects and don't lie if you're asked about them. And keep the yard sale area as safe as possible. You can make some quick cash and clean out the garage with a yard sale. And knowing how the law protects both you and the customers will give you the legal edge. Hey, 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 there's plenty for everyone. I'm attorney Michael James Bryant.